All right, welcome to it, guys. Yes, we are ready to start this show. Season's greetings. Hope you're having a wonderful build-up to the Christmas holidays. Christmas is really all about that build-up, you know. Weekend before going into that final week. That's what it's about. We're heading now straight into our first segment, Buy Local, Cook Local. And this one brought to you by the folks at Eka. And they have really been driving a lot of the local artisans so that you would be seeing on the market. We have three artisans that we have pulled together here that very, very good friend of mine that I have not seen for the entire year, <laughs> thanks to COVID. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a real... I think we saw each other for Carnival. That, right. But no, but the, know, year, the, year, year. the year really started in March. Yeah, the year started My in word. March. Yeah, after Carnival. After Carnival. I, Carnival. I can't remember what happened, what happened after Carnival. Franca Phillip is here, guys. Hi, guys. And, uh, the reason we pulled Franca is because Franca has been known as the goat lady. She was responsible for Goatober, the event that took place at, yes, last 20, year. Yes, last actually year. the first one was here right, in 2018 yeah. and then um, we did it in June 2019 and the big one was in October so 2019. So we actually have goat cheese we for have Franca goat cheese. to work with. Locally produced goat cheese by Lalisco uh, Products, um, a, a line of goat cheese, goat milk and goat yogurt. Uh, Frank is going to be using the goat cheese today. Also, on show today, we have the peri peri sauce handmade by Jeanette. She has a, a line of some wonderful sauces and rubs. And she has rubs. And rubs as well. And we have some Brasa Seco honey, honey from Brasa Seco. I know you love that honey, from. I love this honey. I think it's a fantastic honey. I'm actually enamored of Brasa Seco and the things that they produce. Right. Particularly under the Monlacoa farmers and the Alliance of Rural Communities. The chocolates, it's, it's, it's the an everything. Entire it's an things. entire range of beautiful project products, which I order. I have right. to say I'm on their list. You're on their list. And um, <laughs> the mushrooms that they get, wherever they source them from. They do local mushrooms as well? Local mushrooms. Serious. So they, yeah, that is a God sent us. That's fantastic. What are you doing with all okay, these products? Okay, so all today? of these products today, right? Um, now, I know everybody thinking about Christmas, but you have to think about Boxing Day too, I think. Uh, yeah, after or the Christmas. days after Boxing Day, because people are still come over by you. But everybody will be tired of ham, pastel, yeah. turkey. I already tired of turkey, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't love turkey, but yeah, right, yeah. Right. And you know, we go in local, so we have some good local shrimp, right? Our local vegetables, and so we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the peri peri shrimp. So what I've done, Joel, if you can look at the color of the shrimp, yes, that's because I've marinated it in the peri, peri in the peri sauce. sauce. Now I had to; it's very spicy, so I had to use it moderately. Right. So I'm gonna just put some olive oil in here pan is nice and hot and then you must put your onions let the onions get translucent oh it smells you see it smelling that it's very simple you know joel after bottle there. yeah it's very simple add a little salt and then you add your shrimp now this is local shrimp and it's been marinated for a little bit in the peri peri sauce this is a very simple dish because you know after all the cooking of Christmas Day and all that, if somebody come home by you, you want to cook. You want quick, quick. You want something quick. quick. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the peri peri sauce is very important. What it is is a garlicky, it's lemony, it's tangy, and it's also spicy. So it's a lot of flavor coming through there. And it's very versatile. Jeanette, Jeanette was actually telling me that, that she has used the scotch, our scotch bonnet peppers oh, wow. in it as well. But I know that in, I know that the original um, the original thing is that you actually use bird eye pepper. So what we call our bird, our bird pepper, mm -hmm. which is, I think, not as flavorsome as the scotch bonnet, but still, when you mix everything together, you get a really unique flavor, right. I think. Right. What we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of the peri-peri rub. Mm. A tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Just to give it a little... Mm. Can you smell that? Yeah. No, this, that rub that rub is, 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 is amazing. It's very spicy. And it's something that I would use actually with more robust meat as well. Yeah. So, steaks and, steaks and, and, and stuff. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm going to finish it off with my honey seco. Awesome. I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to take the stove off. I don't want it to burn. So, I'll take this off. And just drizzle. Oh, so that's like a sweet and spicy. Sweet and kind. spicy. Oh my goodness, Franco Philip. Hey. Hey. And just mix it up to make sure that you get all of that flavor in. Very simple. No need for a set of cooking and tanta now. <laughs> tanta now. <laughs> <laughs> so hey. I've done a nice chunky country style salad. Simple. A bed of 
lettuce, cucumbers, and tomatoes. Nice. So what I'm going to do with this goat's cheese, now this goat's cheese is very firm, mm -hmm. right? So we can grate the goat's cheese. And 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 and, and goat cheese flavor, Franco, really is a little pungent. It's little, pungent, but yeah. it will be, it will match well with that peri peri and a little right. honey. Right. It's actually grating like Parmesan. Mm -hmm. All right. Now the vinaigrette I use is a simple vinaigrette. I use some beautiful olive oil, good quality olive oil, some balsamic vinegar, salt, black pepper. You just sprinkle it. Mm -hmm. You want a plate of that shrimp? So I'll plate of the shrimp, shrimp for the you. Shrimp is smelling fantastic. Look at this. So Joel, I'm giving you a whole lot of shrimp here. Pile it on for me, dear. I'm Frank. piling on that shrimp for you. I know you love your shrimp. I see any enough party. I know you have shrimp in your hand. I have some friends who are very unfortunately allergic to shrimp. I, I, I know I know a few as well. Oh I, my I, god. I, I, I think them, it's torture. I wish, I wish them my sympathies every time. Okay. So you have a full plate of shrimp. Right, this looks lovely. And you have your salad. No, if this buy local, cook local, as we like to say here, mm -hmm. and if this this is all local that Frank has put together here. This is a fantastic looking dish. Frank, is that a fork for me? That is your fork? That is my fork. I just want to taste, taste the shrimp. Taste the shrimp. Um, How's the spice? Mm. And how does it marry with the honey? So I think the honey bounces off nicely because mm -hmm. you get that kick. Mm -hmm. And I'm swallowing now, you get that kick and you are back here. And then the honey, yeah, and then, then the honey, honey just eases it out. Eases it over as well. Like, Franco, thank you very much, my dear. No problem, my um, pleasure. Buy local, cook local. No more than any other time in our history, um, local artisans like what we have presented here today need your support. Um, and people who have lost jobs and are mm -hmm. doing things very, very differently now, go on out and support the artisans that we are promoting here on the show for the holidays into 2021, guys. Remember, yeah, as we battle through this time, buy local cook local